Jeremy Cook here, and today I'm going to be showing off my custom ICSP pogo pin adapter. These are great for programming chips like the AT8085 when soldered onto a circuit board. So this is my jig. You can see here, it's basically you just plug it in on that side, and then you can connect to uh, the uh, IC, ICSP pins on the other side. Very, very slim. Very easy to get into tight spaces, I suppose. And, you know, the great thing is, you know, you don't have to worry about which is which. You just plug in your, your header header thingy and it just, everything's in line. So you don't have to worry about it being at 90 degrees or offset or anything like that. You just plug it in and plug it in as if you were, you know, as if you were just plugging it in. This will be available on Tindy either as a, a kit or as an assembly. Personally, I'd, I would recommend buying it as a kit because my soldering work here isn't that great. And yeah, I mean, it would be functional, but it's not the greatest thing in the world. So, so get the kit. You can get it with a, a jig that makes the soldering a bit easier, or you can print the jig yourself. I put the design up on GitHub. This design was done in KiCad or KiCad, depending on how you say it. All you have in the schematic is just, just one, one header. We go into the PCP editor and pull that up 16 millimeters, 17 millimeters by by six, by about seven millimeters. So it's a very small, got my name on it, JC devices, and then just pop it into a 3D view because why not? Pogo pin ISP adapter with the underscore here by JC devices. Even though the circuit board is fairly small, uh, PCB Weight did a great job on this and they actually made the PCBs and they're a sponsor for this video. So thanks so much to them. The bottom of the, uh, the header pins, six six pin header thing, is sticking out. So really, what you want to do, you want to you want to use the bottom piece or th this piece as kind of a, a sub jig to put on there so it can stick out. I'm not saying you can't do this if you, you mess up the order, but it's, uh, it certainly makes it a little bit easier to have it sticking through there. If this looks a little bit out of order, just remember to do this second and this first. When that's done, the, the bottom piece just drops off and you can use it to combine it with this. And then the other piece, you gotta pull that out. Yeah, nice and easy. I've yet to try this without using a jig, but I think the jig makes it a lot easier. So I would recommend either either buying one of these or printing one, or you can struggle through and not, not use one at all, I, I guess, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. So after you've got that soldered up, what you'll need to do is combine the two together, you know, back to back. And for that, that's what you have this, this standoff and these two screws for. So, so we'll go ahead and put, we'll go ahead and put that together. And of course, you can set this on the on the table or whatever to make it to make it level with each other. That's probably probably a good thing to do. And another thing I should note is that you can you can solder this either way depending on. Really the only difference is the silk screen. So if you wanna see the JC Devices logo on that one side facing up, you can put it there. Or if you don't, you have the other side, which I think has some, uh, like a marking from PCB manufacturer. So I got that nice and tight and aligned, and now it's just time to solder, solder all the connections in. Oh, looks like I got a bridge here, so I better correct that. Not gonna work too well like that. So that's that's pretty much it. At this point, you've got a pogo, pogo pin connector that you push down on your ICS, ICSP connector, and yeah, pretty much programs it. All right, so now I'm gonna upload a different program to this. It's loading and it's blinking at a different rate. So let me just change this around just a little bit more. 
So now it'll blink every half second. It'll go on and then half second off. So on, off, on, off. Pretty neat. So yeah, I just plug it in. And you know, one thing about this, you can reverse the direction of this. So if you need to, you can just take this off, take it to the different, a different side so that if it's too, too tight on one side or the other, you can reverse it. So right here, it's not, not great like this, but it can fit, but you can flip it around if you need to. Looks okay, but if you need this out of the way, flip it around and every, everything's in line. So you don't really have to remember where things are. It's just, this goes to this, just as if you were straight connecting to everything. As if you, as if you did have an actual header soldered in here. These are my Easy 85 boards. They haven't sold too well, to be honest, but yeah, pretty, pretty cool. So thanks, uh, thanks for watching.